Hi guys, I'm Beck Tech and welcome back to another episode of The Council. Before I start this episode, I'd just like to make a little shout out. Anthony D, he commented on a video <laughs> a couple of episodes ago. He said, I hope Emily doesn't end up being his sister or that's going to be awkward at Christmas dinner. Um, so that's pretty hilarious. Good on you. <laughs> he called it, man. Oh my God, that's crazy. Good on you, Anthony. Anyways, let's keep going. Um, I'm up to episode... I don't know what episode this is, but we have to do a final vote. From now on, whenever a human speaks to you, you will be able to read their current thoughts. You take care of getting the lands. It's imperative. I'll take care of preparing our departure. She... she has to pay for all the harm she's done to me. Meanwhile, let us remain on our guard against any last-minute surprises. I know my brother well. He never prepares for war if he has no chance of winning. Finding out that I'm a demon makes no difference. <laughs> I haven't come all this way just to fail so close to the goal. If I'm asking you all these things, it's for your own good, you know. You are keeping up the good work, I see. But I'm telling you, keep your guard up. Everyone is rather on edge right now. Don't make me your competition, Derisha. You are no match. Hmm. Trust yourself. It's all already in there. The hell? Okay. Let me just pause real quick. Um, apparently there's one more guest coming to the uh, the conference. I I bet you it's the dude at the be very beginning of the game that my mother and I beat up. Um, I don't know what his name is, but we stole the Alazif off of him or whatever. I reckon it'd be him. Checkmate. Oh, this might be the last episode. Dear friends, no. I'd like to thank you for your continued trust and confidence. I admit that during these past few days, there has been much upheaval. I understand you have all been affected by this. Nevertheless, the world doesn't stop turning, and we are in fact on the verge of reshaping the modern world. That is what we are all here for, my lord. Thank you for your enthusiasm, Monsieur Bonaparte. Now you all know what we have to do cannot warn you strongly enough. If one of Sir Gregory's guests asks to speak with you, remain on your guard. It is highly likely that he will try to rally as many supporters to his cause as he can. Now, please, go and get some rest before the conference begins, which won't be long now. Louis, stay with me a moment, won't you? I'll be needing your services in a certain matter. Yes, of course. What's the matter? Louis, you are the only one here who I totally trust. It is very likely that Gregory will take possession of some of the members of our team. I shall keep them in check over the next few hours. However, I'll need you to... How can I say this? To persuade the members of Gregory's group. What do you mean by that exactly? You'll have free reign, my son. Persuade all of them. Use every possible means imaginable. But... No physical violence. Let's be very, very clear about that. You must bring them all over to our side. And what if I fail? One, I have faith in you, my son. Great faith. That notwithstanding, should any of them resist, we'll decide what to do. No, we're not going to kill Now anyone. go, and come back and see me once you've finished. I'll be off then. If he wants me to do so much, can you give me some more golden elixir, man? George Washington. Oh, I have to convince everyone. Oh, hey, Dad. So, okay. go and take care of your mission, and come back and see me once you've accomplished it, Louis. I reckon Emily will be the hardest, being a, a, another demon. She's gonna know what's up. Well, I can't seduce her because obvious reasons. So I can't, you know, just get my my privates out. <laughs> oh God, I'm stupid. Emily. Emily, it's me. Come in, Louis. I just saw it. What's that servant doing in your room? 
A gift from father. <laughs> You're joking, right? Unfortunately not. He's worried about my health. Ah, oh, typical. Of course I understand this is in no way an overreaction on his part. Anyway, I've come to see if you're better. That's very nice of you. Thank you. I'd appreciate it if we kept our last discussion to ourselves, Louis. I'm not very proud of the state I was in. But don't worry. Thank you. And did you manage to speak to Mortimer? One moment. I'd rather continue our discussion away from any curious eyes. Follow me next door, please. Okay. And um, remember Mortimer said he possesses the black servants? You wanted to know if we spoke. Well, let's just say he didn't stick around long, but yes, I can definitely say we spoke. Do... do you want to talk about it? He urged me to change sides and join him. Huh. That's not what I was expecting. Yes, you can't say father allowed himself to get sentimental. And... well, how are you? Did you take it all right? To be honest, I don't know. I feel like I've lost all my bearings. And what about me, then? Do you trust him? What exactly are you playing at? What do you mean? Why are you asking me all these questions? Ah, all right. You still don't trust me, do you? You think I'm interrogating you? Look, we may as well stop right here in that case. After everything we've been through together, I can see you still don't trust me. It's nothing new, either. You didn't want to tell me about the relationship between Sarah and my sister when you found Ooh. their letters in the tower room. Please, leave me now. I would like to be alone. Come on, don't take it like that. I'm asking you to leave. Wait, are you Get just- Get uh, out! You little bitch. Damn it. I didn't even get oh, a chance no, to Oh no, I failed. Mm -hmm. Well. So far, not so good, guys. Oh my gosh. Duke Manuel. The Riche? I am surprised you dare speak to me. Come now, my lord Duke. I hope Sir Gregory will make you sorry for betraying him. In politics, one must know how to play the ball on the bounce. This might be hard for you to believe, but things have changed. What are you implying? I've simply found out more. About what? About the project. And also about the parties present. It was enough to convince me. I... All right. What have you found then? When you find out, you'll hasten to join us. Right. Well, you have piqued my curiosity, Dorishe. I have a funny feeling you're hiding something from me. Why exactly did you choose to follow oh, Lord Mortimer? Crap. You really shouldn't trust home. Look Oops. at him. He's Damn playing it. at a lot of different tables, and you're clearly heel, heel. not his no. priority. That is ridiculous, really. He's allied to England. Come on. You're not saying that Spain holds England in its heart, are you? You never stop fighting each other for control of the seas. Monsieur de Richet, if I may offer you a word of advice, leave politics to those who do it professionally. Now, have we gone oh, through all your I'm arguments? I'm doing so no, bad. Really. Is that all you have? Right. Let us save time and stop the charade, Louis. In all friendship, I must say, this conference has allowed you to learn from the very best. But you're going too fast, in my opinion. Damn it. No good. I haven't persuaded him. You ought to grant me one more minute. That's enough, Louis. I have already stretched Sir Gregory's recommendations by granting you these few minutes. Enough is enough. I bid you good luck. I no, bid no, you no. good evening. No, and no, no. First man win. <sighs> yes. I'm doing so shots. bad. Oh, oh my please. gosh. At this rate, Louisiana is likely to remain Spanish forever. L oh my gosh, Louis. Uh, not Louis. Um, Mortimer's gonna get me to kill everyone, man. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. I'm laughing because I'm panicking. Don't <laughs> oh no, everyone's gonna die. <laughs> My room. Alright, Louis. Join the dark side. I'm not losing this. I'm not going to. Kill everyone, I man. Just because they won't vote, I am going to at least convince the others. <laughs> I'm still laughing. <laughs> you know how you know how in like school the teacher would growl at you in um 
you try not to laugh because you're trying to be serious while she's growling at you. That's my uh, response right now to failing. You know, I just can't stop laughing. <laughs> Your Eminence, would you have a moment? I shouldn't really, Louis, as you can imagine. Rest assured, I've come just as a friend. No matter how I look at it, between my affection for you and the conference, I can't hide my disappointment at your changing sides, Louis. With all due respect to Lord Mortimer, how could you follow him like this? I understand your disappointment, Your Eminence, but I have good reason to. Uh, it's got nothing to do with it, but... You... You didn't come and see me in my uh. room a few hours ago, did you? Hmm. Does he remember anything? Uh, oh no. No, I'm sorry. You must be mistaken. I've been speaking to Lord Mortimer in his study. I... I must have dreamed it then. It seems so real. Don't blame yourself, Your Eminence. We're all exhausted. I can assure you of that. That's very kind of you, Louis. I don't know what's wrong with me at the moment, but... I feel rather fragile. <sighs> Poor man seems terrified. It'd be a good idea if I reassured him a little before trying to get him to change sides. Oh, what did you want from uh, me, exactly? Mm, mm, mm. It was so real. I... I don't understand it. Oh, Lord. Are you going to test me again? Tell me, Your Eminence. Do you know anything about symbols and dreams? Come, Louis. The scriptural law rejects all divination through dreams. You ought to know that. Of course, I, I wasn't suggesting that these visions were messages from God, Your Eminence. But it might be that when we rest, our mind imagines situations based on things that left an impression on it. Take your dream, for example. What did it speak of? I'm not sure that I can speak about it. Don't worry, Your Eminence. There's no one else here but me. Well, I was right here, in my room, and you came to see me. Then it all became confusing. I know that Mr. Von Volner was here, too. He... No, no, it's not possible. What was he doing? He tried to harm you. Damn it. Mm. He does have memories of what happened. Your Eminence, you have no reason to worry, because I'm right here in front of you, in perfect health. Yes. Yes, you are right. You're probably just a little tired, overworked, that's all. That's it. Just a bit tired. Anyway... Thank you for listening. Please excuse me, Louis, if I've wasted your time. You came to see me about the conference, I imagine. And here I go rambling on about uh, I don't know what nonsense. No need to apologize, Your Eminence. Think nothing of it. <sighs> what did you want to speak to me about? Right. Mm. It's now or never to get him to change oh, his mind. Oh, gosh. I must admit that opposing you pains me, and it pains Lord Mortimer a great deal as well. I can well imagine. You should know that I am not happy about it either. He's an upright man who, like yourself, spends his time helping others and doing good around him. But you know that better than I do. I owe him a lot, you know. Your Eminence, if you feel you owe him something, let me tell you it's not too late to show it. It's thanks to him that I took the Holy Orders. We met when I was very young. Here, on this island. After our encounter, I had the firm conviction that my duty was to take the Holy Orders. Uh, to tell you the truth, I owe him everything. Have you ever thanked him for it? Never. You must find me ungrateful. I would never dare, Your Eminence. <sighs> you came to persuade me to join him, didn't you? I don't have that power, but I do sincerely believe that Lord Mortimer serves a righteous cause. You are an angel who brings peace to this soul, my son. Listen to your heart, Your Eminence. You are right. To hell with all this political manipulation. I... Yes, I must listen to my conscience. Yes, listen to that little voice in your head. What does it say? Yes, Louis. I will vote for William's project. Okay, cool. I will follow you. I'm sure it will mean a great deal to Lord Mortimer, Your Eminence. Once again. Thank you, my son. Please leave me now. I must pray. Of course, Your Eminence. I'll be on my way now. One down. Everyone else to go. George. 
Didn't I con- Oh no, because I convinced him to join home <laughs> uh, last time. So I'm going to have to switch him back. <laughs> Mr. President, I was looking for you. Well, and I you, would you believe it? What on earth are you up to now? You make me change my <laughs> mind for the vote of the conference, and then you proceed to change sides yourself? Yes, I, I do understand you being surprised. I'm sorry, but there have been new developments since then. What are you talking about? You're the one who was right. Sarah passed on her choice to me. Uh, Mortimer persuaded me in the... Uh, no, you were the one that was right. In fact, you were right. I've been thinking about it since our discussion, and I've been able to talk to the other guests. You should have listened to me, you young fool. You were absolutely right. Please accept my humblest apologies, sir. All right, all right. I have my share of responsibility, too. After all, I didn't have to listen to you. Listen, I must apologize once again, but it's not too late. Louis, listen. This is the last <laughs> time you'll be dragging me into any such schemes. You realize you are playing with the destinies of nations. For goodness sake, grow up, young man. You're right, Mr. President. I cannot apologize enough. Please come back to us. Of course I shall come back. But from now Easy. on, please keep me out of your shenanigans. I promise, Mr. President. And try to stick with one opinion, at least until the vote. You have my word. Good. Now, leave me. I have work to do. Easy peasy. George loves me. I don't even know where I am. This one's going to be hard. I can feel it. Well, he wanted to kill me a moment ago. Imagine if I did get poisoned. That would be pretty funny. Where the hell is he? This is Walner's room, yeah? Mm, what the heck? Okay, let's go downstairs. <sighs> I need to talk to Von Volner. Oh shit. Blast it. Home is with him. Gentlemen. Louis! I'm sorry, but we are waiting for Duke Manuel. If you wouldn't mind leaving us, I should think you already have enough to do as it is. Very well. I didn't mean to disturb you. Just my luck. He'll only talk to the Duke. Right. Well, I'm gonna to possess him? That. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Are you ready for this? Yes, monsieur. Is there something you wanted to add? Concentrate. I need you to listen carefully to what I have to say, Godoy. I am all ears. Louis, push. I need you to do me a little favor. It's working. That's it, Louis. Get in his head. Oh, dear. What is happening to me? I, I do not feel very well. I need your help, sir. Get in his head. <laughs> oh, perfect. Thank you, monsieur. I'm sure I'll know how to take full advantage of your vessel. Now that I am Manuel. Yes. He's got some sass. Duke Manuel, here you are at last. Sir Gregory, Mr. Von Volner. Thank you for agreeing to this meeting. I'll leave you with Johan a while. I still have a few things to settle. I shan't be long. See you later, Sir Gregory. Oh, God, no. Come over here. I'm warming myself up. I had the misfortune to step outside, and I'm frozen solid. Hmm? I wonder what he was doing outside. Mr. Von Volner, I wanted to speak to you. I'd like to make you an offer you can't refuse. I'm all ears. Now, we don't have much time, so here it is. You will vote for Mortimer. What a strange idea, Kodoy. You are being ridiculous. Tell me now, why would I do that? <laughs> Damn traitor is about to drop us. Oh, okay. Sir Gregory has been taking us for a ride right from the start. When it comes to this operation, he isn't championing the interests of our respective nations. All he cares about is beating Lord Mortimer at his own game. Oh, come, Manuel. 
Where are you getting this from? Name me even one decision by Sir Gregory that was in favor of Prussia. My god, man. I didn't know you were so excessive. You don't want to answer? I will. Just uh, let me think. You're pinned down. You will only get mere crumbs out of Poland. It will go to Russia. And I hope you're ready for a global war, because I doubt France will agree to our coalition. True. Said like that. I don't know. I'm not criticizing. I'm in the same boat as you. Spade will docilely follow home without getting anything in return. You are wasting your time, Duke Manuel. You know nothing about me, and your attempts to manipulate me have no effect. You behave as though we were close. Yet ever since you arrived, you've only been interested in your own little self. Don't say that, Johan. We may not be friends, but we are allies. Is that so? Oh, shit. And what do you know about me, exactly? Mm -hmm. You found the Alizif for home? Or you loved Elizabeth Adams. What should I talk about? Let's talk about Elizabeth. Probably bad I idea. I know, for example, that you felt a strong attachment for Miss Adams. I... but... How? You weren't there! As I said, we are allies. I never lose touch with my allies. I take care of my allies. And when they are afflicted with grief, I sympathize. I... I didn't speak about it to anyone. No. And that's perfectly normal. It's your secret. Thanks, all the same. But, uh... Tell me... Why do you want to follow Mortimer, all of a sudden? Mortimer is planning something. We don't know everything. He must have something up his sleeve to be so confident. Ah, really? And what do you think that might all be? All of this is just a show. He has contacted all those we represent. What do you mean? That everything is already decided in higher spheres. William Frederick, the King of Spain, the Pope, William Pitt. I don't understand. Lord Mortimer has invited those who work in the wings of power to take a hand in swaying the decisions of those who actually hold it. Everything is already played out. He has already won. But, uh, how is this possible? We've all underestimated him. He's fooled us. We're done for. Look, it all hinges on the next few hours, Johan. Look, I hear everything you're saying. But there is no chance that Mortimer can make us all change sides. That is why Sir Gregory can but win. You understand? Think again. Shh. It's already too late. Ah, I'm getting a bad feeling. Oh shit! All the guests have already served Mortimer. Now you're the last one left. Your loyalty toward Gregory is honorable. But no longer makes any sense. If you don't change your mind, you'll be venturing into dangerous waters for no valid reason. Unless it's to win. Yes, but at what price? Think of all those who... who will be hostile toward you afterwards. Just think about it rationally a minute. Prussia has nothing directly at stake, mm. so why put your position or your life in the balance? I... I hear you. Honestly, betraying Gregory is... well, it's... it's unthinkable. Unless I simply don't have any choice. Yes, he's finally cracked. Thank you for warning me. You're welcome. There is nothing more natural between allies. I did what I could. Now it's up to you. As for me, I'll vote for Mortimer. No Good way. Luck <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> it's gonna be so awkward when. Good. Let me just pause. <laughs> it's gonna be so awkward when. Uh, the Duke's just convinced him to vote for Mortimer, but I didn't actually convince the Duke. <laughs> oh. Much time. See you later, my Lord Duke. Have a nice rest. <laughs> Uh, okay, Mortimer's office, yeah? Dad, I did my best. Uh, we're gonna have to kill off the, the Duke and Emily. My bad. Louis, there you are. Well, tell me, how did it go? 
I did my best. Whom did you manage to persuade? You can count on Cardinal Piaggi. Ah, perfect. I had a feeling old Giuseppe would be able to follow me. President Washington is going to side with you after all. Ah, I was sure that was all a misunderstanding. Very good. You can count on Mr. Von Volner. Really? Well, I must admit, I'm stunned at your success there. I truly believed he would never betray Gregory. I see. So we are going to lose the vote. Father, mm. I'm sorry, I... No, I should never have let you handle it. It's my fault. Mm -mm. I thought you would be able to accomplish this tour de force, but clearly you weren't ready. What an idiot I've been. No, 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 Dad, I'm sorry. I'd like to apologize. I'm crying out loud. Stop apologizing. You are my son. You never apologize. Not even to me. Never mind. Let's forget the conference. Now I have to prepare for what's coming next. We're gonna Louis, kill him! Leave me if you will. Yeah. <laughs> bye bye, Emily. Bye bye, Duke. My friends, here we are at last, gathered together to close this conference. I would first of all like to thank you all for making the time to be here and lend your services. Gregory, I, I believe I may speak for both of us. When I say that we are honored by your presence here. You, you are perfectly right to do so, William. Thank you for putting your faith in us and for coming here to participate in this conference. Thank you for helping us to make the best decisions. And I especially want to thank you, William, for, for perfectly hosting us at your home during these past several days. I'm not sure all the guests would agree to that. In any case, Holm doesn't seem to be himself. Yeah. Um, a friend of mine pointed out uh, in the last episode, well, Mortimer was having lunch or whatever, and uh, Holm came up and drank the tea. He's like, oh, no, this is not hot. You know, it's, it's a crappy tea, right? But then he started coughing afterwards. My friend, he's, he said, you know, maybe he was poisoned because straight after he drank it, Mortimer said, oh, you're just so predictable, Holm. So maybe he's been poisoned. Yeah. Good. I think we can begin. You will vote in turn on the question that interests us today. Are you for or against the transfer of ownership of Louisiana from Spain to France? Monsieur de Richet? Imagine if I go against... <laughs> Let me say I vote for. for. Duchess Hillsborough. Against. <clears throat> Duke Manuel? Against. Your eminence? For. But I... Gregory, please. Monsieur Napoleon? For. Mr. Von Volner? For. What? Gregory, but... please refrain from interrupting the voting. You know the rules, brother. President Washington? For. The votes are now cast. So you were not won over by my project. Hmm, that hurts. I... I warned you! You did... You didn't want to... Listen to me! Never mind. He's dying. It will still come to pass. Traitor! What have you done? You are... You are obliged to respect your... Your word. That... Is the, the... the rule! The time of conferences is over, dear brother. Let us abandon all this charade. You don't... have... the... right! What have you <gasps> done to me? What have I done? Nothing, Gregory. You did it yourself. A word of advice. In the future... Oh, that is... If you have <laughs> don't one. drink someone else's don't tea. Don't drink someone else's cup of tea without checking what's in it. Father, what happened? Sir Gregory, what's the matter? William, what have you done? Not now. <laughs> you, you are mad, William. Father will, father will punish you for, for this. He will probably try. Unless I get to him first. But I... 
cannot die! No, you cannot die. You are, however, losing all sense of reason, as well as all your special abilities. What? What? What did I drink? Can't you guess? There are but few things that can have such an effect on such as we. You would know that if you ever ventured even a little way off of Father's beaten track. I... Revenge! Oh, no, my dear Gregory. You will not be taking any revenge. You will die stupidly, alone, enclosed in that rather withered body. Help. Help me. After several centuries Help. of near absolute power, here you find yourself on your hands and knees, hoping in vain that someone is going to help you. Tell me, what does that feel like? Never happened to me. Can't be good. You cannot leave your body. You cannot project yourself elsewhere. You cannot even contact father. Go ahead. Try. But you are my brother. So I ask you to remember that all this is your own fault. And I want you to understand I get absolutely no pleasure out of it. Well, very little. You swine! A new order is born today, brother. Enough of father's hegemony. After all these years of servitude, I can finally stand up and oppose it. You chose to serve him, whatever his excesses, now it's up to you to face the consequences of that choice. <laughs> Matt, <laughs> I am stronger than than you. <sighs> Have I joined the bad guys? Okay, this is my opinion. All of Mortimer's visions, allowing women to have more rights, releasing the slaves, all of Mortimer's visions will come in IRL. They're all good things, and that's why I decided to sort of go with Mortimer, but Mortimer's looking like the bad guy. I feel terrible. What? But... What on earth is happening? Am I dreaming or...? Louis, it's me, Gregory. Listen, we don't have much time. But where are we? Louis, I brought us here. You must act swiftly. I can't hold out for long. William has poisoned me. He must have used the blood of a former demon. I am no longer able to enter the body of someone else. The poison is gnawing away at me from the inside. I... I'm going to die, Louis. But where are we? In the ether. What you see is not real. It's only a mental projection created by my spirit. I'm occupying William's spirit at the moment, but I'm not going to be able to keep it up forever. Join me, Louis. Otherwise, all will be lost. Yes. Yes, I'll join you. Find a way. Hurry. So I'm going to have a chance to save my uncle? I want to, I want everyone to live and and for this conference to go I ahead. I deserve a great destiny and I will let nothing nor no one stand in the way of my dream. History will remember me and the sacrifices I made. I, I sense that something is happening, but I could no longer move. Okay. Dear God. If I lose the war against France, I will be doomed. Good God, I can't even move. But Louis can. What's happening? Okay. Oh my God, this is so messed up, man. What? Um. Oh, a, a random painting. <laughs> okay. Mum! Mummy! Is this they demon hell? Rational. Rational and open, Sarah. Think, damn it. Think. Sarah? Is that you? Louis? Louis, can you hear me? 
I'm here, Louis. Can you see me? Of course, but I don't understand. Oh, merciful heaven. You can see me. Yes, I... Louis, I don't know what's happening, but you must help me. Look, j just calm down. I can't see you, Louis. I'm here right in front of you. No, I can't see you. The Ks are deserted. I can't leave, Louis. Help me. You died. Died? No! What are you talking about? Look, I am right here. Her spirit is here because she's a demon. And as you are my sister, it's possible that demons don't completely disappear after their physical bodies die. But, but how is that possible, damn it? I'm stuck here! I don't know. I, I'm only guessing. I, only your physical body is dead. Apparently your spirit is kept here. I daren't try understand. I... Am I condemned? Look, neither of us know anything about this situation, really. Help me, Louis. You are the first one, the only one to see me, to speak to me. Without you, I'll never get out of here. Don't leave me like this, I beg you. I'll, I won't leave you, Listen, Mom. you have to stay positive. Seeing as I've entered the ether, I, I must be able to leave it. If it's possible for me, then it's possible for you. Do you really think so? Rational and open, remember? I, yes, right, you are right. There must be a solution. But how come you can move around? I'm not dead. I don't understand. I think there are many things that you don't understand. It doesn't matter. I trust you. You are going to help me, aren't you? I must be getting on. I, I can't stay much longer. Louis, I beseech no. you. Of course I I'm going to help you, mother. To help. Thank you, Louis. I trust you. Thank you. What am I doing here now? N nothing seems real. You are nothing but a coward. What a bunch of amuses you are. Please, keep calm. What on earth is going on here? I don't understand a thing. Louis, don't waste any time. Appease them. My thoughts are becoming confused. Help me. Be quick. Yes. Not a minute to lose. O reorganize. What? Depending on their affinities. Depending on their affinities. What, do they have to stand next to people they Stay like? Stay with me, Louis. We must take Alizy back from him. One thing is for sure. My mother and Volnor have the same objective. To find that book. They're following the same trail and, and must be close to each other. I have to protect my sister. Help me, Louis. I don't have any freaking... Oh my gosh. I need to keep an eye on them. This is not fair. How come the Duke's not here? Or Piagi? We're not all demons, are we? Bonus on a demon, surely. Emma is completely lost. She needs to be close to her sister. As for Emily, well, she no longer trusts anyone. Apart from me, that is. I have to stay by her side. Okay, got it. You, next to your sissy. Oh, oh, oh. You, next to me. I won't let him attack his brother. Wait a minute. Wait, so Elizabeth is a dude? A dude demon inside of woman? That's not really Elizabeth. It's another demon. Oh, well, that makes that sense now. Mortimer. On a symbolic level, he should be placed between the two of them. Got it! Looks like I've succeeded. They've all disappeared. Louis, it's worked. But don't waste any time. I'm coming. Yes, I'm coming. At least as soon as I found the exit. Ooh. 
This is my room. This is Emily's room. Is anyone there? Oh. I can hear you. I know you're there. Help me. Help. Can anyone mm. hear me? What? What are you doing here? You. It wasn't enough for you to let it's me Emma. be killed. You have to come here and stop babbling away at me. Fool, you couldn't have stopped her from shooting, could you? Well, no. Oh, don't sass me. <laughs> yeah, I want to say that. You can change your tone because I'm not the one who shot at you, remember? It's not my fault if your sister got rid of you like a dead weight. I... What you just said was nasty. That was for treating me like an idiot. I didn't want it to happen like that. I just wanted to exist a little too. But didn't you ever think there might be other ways of doing that? Obviously, it's easy to say that now. Louis, we have no time to lose. Help me, please. What on earth is she talking about? Come on, I... you're dead. No. There's got to be a solution. I am made of the same stuff as you. I already survived a gunshot at point-blank range. I will survive this. Help me. I'll go mad if I stay here any longer. I must have been here several months. I, I stopped counting from... Hang on. What are you doing here? Are you dead? Uh... <laughs> no. Sir Gregory brought my spirit here. But I must get back as soon as possible. So you should be able to help me. None of this says yes. Emma, I have no idea of what's going on. How do you expect me to help you? There must be a way. I beg you, promise you will help me, Louis. I'll promise to help all right, everyone. All right, calm down. I'll do everything I can to get you out of here. Thank you, Louis. I knew you were a good man. Right. I must get going now. Just stay calm. Everything will work out fine. Louis! No! Don't leave me! Louis! There's nothing I can do. Filthy scum! I'll kill you! I'll, get I'll kill spirit. you I'll again. I'm for you, Louis de Richet. Do you hear me? I will find you! Shut the frig up! You know what? I'm not coming back for you now. I must be quick. My memories! I... I'm losing my sight. I... Louis? Mm -hmm. Are you there? Yes. Yes, I'm here. Pick up the thread of my thoughts, Louis. Of my memories. Make haste! I'm coming! Oh shit, another puzzle man? It was in a trap right, right from, from the, the start. start. It was in a trap right, right from, from the, the start. start. At the previous conference three years ago, I'm sure he already knew I would bring the Hillsborough sisters here. He knew it! He knew it! He already knew they were his daughters! Okay. Previous conference? That's when Mortimer started putting his plan into action. That's how this whole thing began. At the previous conference three years ago, I'm sure he already knew I would bring this the This is the Hillsborough first event that brought home here. Oh yeah, I'm on the right track. He allowed me to... He allowed me to bring Emily back again to this conference. Mm. Supposedly to find I'm on the right track here. Okay, what happened after that? Oh yes, this one. And Surely. And coincidentally, who arrives at the same time as Emily? Yep. I'm Louis getting closer to him. This one? No. And when, when Elizabeth, Elizabeth disappeared, disappeared, I... No. It's not possible. possible. I, I couldn't have missed that. that. Not, not me. me. He, he cut, cut me off from our father, father and I didn't say a word. He cut me off from our father, and I didn't say a word. And when Elizabeth disappeared, I... So I'll save you, Uncle Greg, and I'll save Mom, and I'll save Emma. No one else is going to die. If I can, if I can find Elizabeth, I'll save her. But apparently she's a dude. Does that make Walner gay? Poison! And the cherry on the cake, and the cherry on the cake is I drank his cursed tea. I should come back oh. to this later. Okay. I thought I had one more. He feeds Louis, and I can... He stuffed his poor son with an occult knowledge that we Can't usually end here. 
the cherry on the cake. And the cherry on the cake is I drank his cursed tea. He trapped me. He poisoned me to stop me from being able to leave this body. He cut off all communication with father and brought his children here. How could I not have seen it earlier? He's going to absorb me. The traitor! No one can stop him now. Hurry, Louis. I absolutely must see you before it's too late. If you have managed to follow my thoughts, come to me. Quickly! I'm coming. <gasps> Alice in Wonderland! What's happening? I can sense him. He's here. He's trying to get inside me, Louis. William has completely lost his mind. He's getting ready to pull out all the stops. He's going to devour my mind, Louis. I'm not going to be able to stop him. Louis, you are I'll here. I'll stop him. I sense your presence. What? But he can't even see me. Congratulations, my son. You have succeeded in joining us. Louis, don't let him draw you in there. You are signing your death warrant if you decide to follow him. I won't be there to protect you. It's over, my son. We have won. A new order can be born. Louis, I'm so weak. I can feel him Don't worry, entering. I got this. I, I can no longer keep him out. He's, he's coming. Oh shit. He's here. I <clears throat> can. Excuse me. Can you see him? He's here. He's coming closer to you. Where? Oh, I'm going to stab oh, him with the thingy. I don't want to just disappear. No, He's I'm going to help inside you. Inside my mind. I can feel him crushing me. He's just in front of you. I'm so sorry, brother. There's nothing you can do to stop me now. You made your choice. And you have lost. <laughs> I was wrong about him from the very beginning. He's mad. He must be stopped. You can still do something, Louis. Don't let him get away with all this so easily. I implore you. I want her back home here. I don't want home to die. I want us all to just be one happy family. Why do we have to kill each other? But it looks like the less dark route is saying that. Look at yourself, Uncle. You're just as bad as he is. Despite being centuries old, and despite all the wisdom you should have acquired, I don't believe in you, nor do I believe in him. You can count on me to do my utmost so that neither of you will succeed in your plans. Louis, uh -oh. it's over for me. It's up to you now to protect our family. Find your sister, Louis. She'll know what to do. What are you saying? Find her. It's over, brother. Don't fight it. You will be punished for this. Perhaps. But you won't be there to see it, will you? <gasps> you will be punished. Ugh. Damn. Okay, I my decision is now. Nope. Everyone here sucks. I'm going team human. That. <laughs> oh my gosh! What is going on? I just want people to stop fighting. That's all I care about is just peace. Just chill the hell out. I'm going to leave that one there. And I'm pretty sure, as you can see, in the next episode will be the last one. But I hope there's an opportunity for me to go back and save my mum. Mum's number one. 
I should have listened to her from the start. It's getting weird. It's getting way too weird. Anyways, I will leave that one there. Uh, so thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next episode. Bye.